Hello everyone, today I'll be going through all of the challenge questions in LXL's Pure Year 1 textbook, Chapter 9. Okay, our first and only question is from Mixed Exercise 9. In this diagram, AB equals BC equals CD equals DE equals 1 meter. Prove that the angle AEB plus the angle ADB is equal to the angle ACB. Okay, so let's first assign these angles some names. So if we let the angle AEB be theta and ADB be phi, we know that the angle ACB is equal to 45 degrees, as it is uh, an, the, the angle in a isosceles right angle triangle. So now we're trying to show that theta plus phi is equal to 45 degrees. So our theta is going to be here on the diagram and our phi here. So we can draw a right angle triangle with theta here, side lengths 3 and 1. And the hypotenuse will have length the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared, which is 10. And we can do the same for, um, for phi. So we have a... We have the two side lengths be 1 and 2, and the hypotenuse is square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared, which is 5. So we can place these two triangles next to each other, like this. And by doing that, we get this long rectangle. And here is our angle theta, and here is our angle phi. And this angle here is 180 minus theta minus phi. And we'll see if we can work with this diagram to prove that theta plus phi must equal 45 degrees. So first of all, we can get some side lengths in. So this top side length is 3 plus 2, which is 5. Here it's 3, here it's 2. And the, um, the vertical length is 1. So from this diagram up here, what we can say is that sine of phi is equal to opposite over adjacent, or 1 over root 5. We can also label some more angles here, so using the um, parallel lines, we can say that this angle here is also equal to theta, and this angle here is also equal to phi. Okay, now on this triangle in red, we can use the sine rule to get sine of 180 minus uh, theta minus phi over the opposite side, which is phi is equal to uh, the sine of phi over the opposite side, which is root 10. And now using our value of sine phi from up here, and multiplying both sides by phi, we get sine of 180 minus theta minus phi is equal to 5 times 1 over root 5 over root 10. And simplifying this all down, we get 1 over root 2. And therefore, using inverse sine and the fact that we know that 180 minus uh, theta minus phi must be obtuse from the diagram, we get uh, 180 minus theta minus phi is equal to uh, the inverse sine of 1 over square root 2. So this is either equal to 45 degrees or 135 degrees. And because we know it's obtuse, we can say this is equal to 135 degrees. And therefore, we get theta plus phi is equal to 45 degrees, as required. And that is the end of the challenge question walkthrough for chapter 9. A short one here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you for chapter 10.